right, I'm Nathan Swatnicki, uh, here to show a uh, ham setup that I've got on my uh, plate carrier here. Uh, I've got some Baofeng radios, some other accessories that I'll go over and uh, give a quick rundown of the, the setup I've got. Uh, first off, the radios that I'm using here are Baofeng GT3s. Uh, it's a uh, an offshoot of the GT5R or UV5R I think it is. Um, very simple radio, works well. Um, single push to talk, get your uh, individual button for your VFO and uh, channel modes. Um, and that's what I like about the features of it. Of course you can get the extended batteries that I do not have uh, presently. However these batteries do last a, a decently long time. The antenna is an upgraded from what the UV5R has. Uh, however, this small whip antenna is still uh, substandard to other options that are out there. So we're going to go over some different antennas. Um, first, we'll go over some of the uh, accessories that I have here. See on this radio here, uh, which is my use radio, I have this adapter on top here. This is a BNC female. Uh, I'm sorry, BNC male to SMA uh, female. <laughs> I'm going to make sure I got that right. What this does is allow a quick adapt of uh, BNC antenna. Uh, this one here is a NA771. It's a very common in, uh, antenna upgrade for these radios. Uh, obviously, <clears throat> Your difference with this is lining it up with the nipples that are on here, push down a little bit and turn, and that's securely hooked onto the radio at that point. Comes off easy by pushing down, turning counterclockwise, and it comes right apart. The original antenna on the radio is the SMA connector and you have to unscrew this, it is threaded. This is the female side, um, and this is your male side here on the radio. So your adapter is going to go from SMA female to the BNC male. Attaching onto the radio, I have extended a cable. <clears throat> One of the issues I found with carrying a radio is if you've got it placed somewhere accessible where you can adjust channels and such like to the front here uh, anywhere towards the front of your plate carrier you've got this antenna right in your face uh, you know you got your eye poke hazard and, and whatever else with that I didn't much care for that so I wanted to relocate the antenna this cable is the BNC um, female side as you can see here and that attaches directly onto the adapter I have on the radio the other end of the cable is SMA I did that because it's smaller more compact and I simply have another one of these uh, antennas like this a 771 that's the SMA on the bottom as opposed to the BNC this cable is uh, I believe a 20 inch long cable which is plenty long I had some extra left over and wove that in to uh, take up the space the pouch I'm using is made by TAG I bought that on evike.com uh, the radio slides into here and you've got your viewport where you can view your display and buttons on the radio and then it closes right back up keeps it nice and secure headset I'm using a headset here from code red it is their CQC headset with push to talk obviously uh, the push to talk feature is uh, very valuable if you're wearing a headset and get your radio mounted to the vest where you're not picking it up to uh, hold it up to your face 
So my vest, it is left side opening. I have the antenna woven through the molly on the back side where it is out of my way and yet exposed enough to send and receive. The antenna cable runs along the rear plate bag through the cummerbund comes up here where it'll attach to the radio. Enough slack to be able to move this thing a little bit. The headset woven the same way through the cummerbund, rear plate bag, and back to the other side of the cummerbund. Comes all the way out to my push to talk mounted low and right. <clears throat> uh, it's mounted over here because that's really about all I got for real estate. I could mount it up on the chest, but it would be uh, a significant significant issue uh, having the admin pouch here. I don't have enough room on the sides to be able to mount it where it would be out of the way. So uh, mounting low and away, I can reach that from both sides and still be able to engage this push to talk. Uh, this is a very silent. Uh, if we listen, I think we hear more noise from the, the table wobbling here than, than the actual button push. So uh, a very good setup. This headset is extremely lightweight, uh, doesn't weigh much at all, however the microphone is extremely clear. Um, it is as clear if not more clear than the microphone that's on the radio itself. So, Very good quality, uh, you're looking at about 60 bucks in the headset here, so for the price, well worth it. Now, attaching the radio. Quick disconnects here. First plugging in the Kenwood plug for the headset and then quick disconnect for the cable running to the new antenna. That simply slides in the pouch as such. You see how I can open this up now while I'm wearing it and be able to view my display. Volume and power uh, knob here at the top where I don't have to open this thing up or do anything odd to adjust the volume or turn it off uh, momentarily or, or as needed so easy setup the quick disconnect for the push to talk you can see it disconnects the cable from the bottom disconnects the headset from on the top side and has a clip a simple clip here on the back that I've passed through the molly Seems to be sized just right for the Molly, uh, you know, as if it was intended for that. So, to demonstrate the headset. Take the time reattaching the old antenna. Radio check, radio check. Radio check, radio check. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Uh, very sensitive microphone. Does a very good job picking up even a whisper. The speaker in it is well clear enough to, to receive said whisper. Um, without having to blast the volume really high. So uh, the volume level on that where you can hear normal communication, you'll still pick up a whisper really well. All right, strand hog vest. Got these nice tubes technology here. Open everything up nice. This way, this way I can shrug the vest on and off with just one side. And now I have to pull it over my head And there you have it. I have my radio 
easily accessible here. So as you can see, still easy access to any of the buttons. I can change from frequency to VFO mode with uh, without any problems here. Sorry, frequency to channel mode. See the cables ran out of the way. And the antenna is well without interference with even uh, basic basic headgear. Thanks for watching, Patriots. God bless America.